In this video, I'm going to show you how to run A-B tests on your Webflow site for free using a tool called Mida. It's the tool we use and what our clients use in order to boost their conversions without increasing their website traffic with ads or SEO. In fact, one of our clients ran the same type of A-B test that you'll learn in this video and saw a 10% increase in conversions right away. Now keep in mind that while A-B tests and split tests are awesome, they're really just about finding those 1% improvements. So it's important going into this video that your website and landing pages are currently structured properly. Under this video, our team put a link to our free 148 point landing page checklist designed to help you make sure your website has a solid foundation in order to start testing. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing we need to do is set up a free Mida account. There's a link below this video that will get you started, but I recommend just signing up for the free version. There is a paid version of Mida that it starts at $199 a month, but you can get by just fine on the free version. I We even have some clients who are just on the free version and it works pretty well. But if you do need more um, features and whatnot, they do have a paid version as well. So once you set up a Mida account and you log in, you will be presented with this page right here. And there will be a little bit, a uh, few onboarding steps right here as well. The main thing that you need to know is how to install the Mida Pixel. So what I'm going to do is click on this first step, install Mida Pixel, and we're using Webflow, so we're gonna use this option, but if you are not using Webflow, you can also use the manual option. To be honest, they're pretty much the exact same steps. They just include Webflow here to make it look a little bit easier, but we're gonna click on connect, and we're going to copy this script right here, and we're gonna go back to our Webflow project, and we're gonna click on the Webflow logo and go to site settings. And then from here, you want to navigate to custom code and you want to paste that script right in the head tag. Click on save. And then you'll want to publish your website. So I'm publishing it to the staging domain right now. We don't have a custom domain connected, but once that is complete, you'll want to take the URL of your website, go back to Mida, and then you want to paste it in this URL box down here. And then we'll want to click on verify installation. And this little window will pop up. It's basically opening your website in a new tab. And it's verifying that the script is installed. So I got installation successful. The Mida script is successfully installed on the website. Sometimes you may do this and it says unsuccessful. Usually just give it a few minutes and then try again and it should be good. So once that is complete, we now have Mida all set up on the website and now we can start our A-B tests and split tests. First, before we do that though, we will want to go to the sidebar and we want to navigate to goals. So every time you do a split test or an A-B test in Mida, you are going to have a goal associated with it. So for example, if we click on add new goal, this is how, this is where you are going to define what constitutes a conversion for you. So you can have it fire, you can have a conversion fire when a user reaches a certain page, um, when they click on text, when they trigger an event, or when they click a link, a whole bunch of different options here. The most common one that we use is reaches a certain page. Now, if you have done a lot of A-B testing and split testing in the past, you do know that that by using a simple URL to define a conversion can get a little bit tricky sometimes. But if you're new to A-B testing and split testing, I would definitely start here. It's the easiest way to get started. So I'm going to click on reaches a certain page. And then I'm going to take our URL here. First though, I'm going to give this a name. So signs up. And then we're going to want to paste our URL here. And then I'm going to do slash success on the URL. So when someone submits a form and they go to the success page, once they get there, then that means a conversion has happened. You want to click on validate goal. 
you should get a success message. Sometimes you will get a recommendation message, but we're just gonna skip this for now. We're gonna click save goal. And as you can see, we now created a new sign up goal and we can now tie this to a split test or an A-B test. In order to set one of those up, we are going to go to the experiments tab and this is where you're gonna set up those tests. So we're gonna click add new test and the most popular options that you will be using is a simple A-B test or a simple split URL test. The only difference here is an A-B test, it will change the content of the page. So for example, you can change the header on a homepage and it will split the traffic. Half the traffic will view the old, the version one of the header and then the other remaining traffic will view the other header as well. Now a split URL test is where it's going to send users to two different URLs. So you could have two different versions of your homepage that are built entirely different and you can test which layouts are working the best. If you're doing just simple copy changes or image changes, an A-B test is perfect. That's all you need to do. But if you're wanting to test out entire different page layouts, then you want to use a split URL test. So for now, we are going to select an A-B test. We're gonna click start test. We're gonna give it a name. Testing home page headline. We are going to paste in the URL of our home page. Then click next. This is where you can edit the actual content of the page to create the, the A-B test. And there are also a few um, settings down here as well. But for most of these, you can just leave them as they are. You don't need to change any of those. So how this works is within our A-B test, there are gonna be two variants. You can add additional variants if you want to, but we're just gonna use two for now. So the first variant is the default variant. It's the control variant. This is as your website is currently, nothing has changed. And then variant one is where we can go into the visual editor and change content so that we can show different content to different users and then see which ones perform the best. So we're gonna click on visual editor. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up your website in a new tab. And if you've ever used the Webflow editor before, it, this is a very similar workflow. So as you can see, if I hover over text or assets, it highlights them. This is because we can change them. So for example, uh, we want to change this headline. So simply click on that. It's gonna give you a few options. We are going to edit the element. And then within here, we have a text box and this is where we can up customize the text. So I'm going to delete the text that we have currently and I'm gonna say just something simple. All right, you can kind of play around with the text a little bit, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. We're gonna click save. And then once you're happy with it, you can click on save and continue, and this will take you back to Mida. So once that is done, we can click on next. This is where it's gonna ask you about your goal. So that goal that we created earlier, we want to add it here so that during the test, we can, Mida knows what constitutes the goal for this test and how it's um, increasing or decreasing conversion rates accordingly. So for the goal profile, we want to select our goal that we already created. If you didn't create one, you can actually create the goal straight from here, but we're just gonna use that one that we already created. We're gonna click on next. And then within this configuration section, this is where you can determine how much of your traffic you wanna test this on. You can either test it on all 100% of the traffic you're getting to your homepage. You can test it only on a percentage. So for example, if 100 people visit your homepage, you can set this to where it will only show this test to 20% of the people. But right now we're just gonna have it set to 100. And then traffic allocation for each variant, you can assign more traffic to go to one variant or the other, but usually we wanna have a 50% ratio so that we can get a good understanding of, of how uh, this is performing. And then how confident do you want to be? So once this test is concluded, it will tell you um, how well it performs and you can set up how confident you want it to be. So you can do 80%, 90%, 95, 99, or you set a custom level. Um, usually we just set this, keep this at 80 for now, um, but you can change that if you want to. 
There's a few more settings down here that we never really go through, but you can feel free to play around with them if you want to. Once done here, you can click on publish test and this will be your dashboard for the test. So you'll be able to see um, the conversion rate for each test and, and you can see which option is winning and which one is underperforming. And then from there, you can understand what is causing your users to convert and what is causing them not to convert. Then you can build on top of these tests in the future with more tests. So for example, say we've determined that the text for variant one is outperforming the original headline. What we can do is we can now make that one the original headline on the website, push that live, and then we can do another A-B test with a different type of headline. And when you're setting up these tests, always make sure that you're only testing like one or two things at a time, because if you're testing too many items at the same time, you're not gonna really get a good understanding of what is increasing your conversion rate or decreasing it. So you want to test one or two things max, and then save additional items for a future test. So to see this in action, if we go to our website, sometimes this works and sometimes it's not because it is splitting the traffic. But if we get lucky, we might actually see this text change. If we refresh, so it isn't changing now. Let's try to do a new private window. We will paste this in. And as you can see, it changed the text. So I updated it slightly um, from, when I, from the text I put in the video. I changed it to your workflow simplified. But as you can see, it is changing the headline um, for us. So in this instance, it is the old text. And then when we went to in a in, uh, private tab, it changed it to this text. So that is successfully working. So now let's go back to our experiments. I'm going to de delete this one that we just created. And then we are going to set up a split test. So we're gonna select that, click start new test. And then you're gonna have the base URL and the variant one URL. So before we do this, we have to create a second version of the homepage in Webflow. So I'm basically gonna take our homepage, I'm going to duplicate this, call it homepage v2, click create. And then we're just gonna update this slightly. So we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna remove these images and we're gonna test whether or not that increases our conversions or not. Usually you wanna do something a little bit bigger and better, but we're just gonna do that for now. So we're gonna click on publish. We're gonna publish this new page and while that is publishing, we are going to grab the homepage, the original URL. We're going to paste that in here. So this is our original homepage. And then our version two homepage is going to be that new link that we just created. Next, we have some settings that we can change. However, just like the A-B test, we're going to leave these how they are. And then we're going to click on next. Now we have our goal. This works the exact same way as an A-B test. So for now, we're just going to select our same goal as before, but you can change this goal here if you want to. Then we're gonna click on next. And again, we can set parameters to determine how much traffic we want to send to one page or the other and whatnot. But for now, we're just gonna keep everything the same. We're gonna click on publish test. And now we are good to go. So A-B testing and split testing is a great way to understand how people are interacting with your website, what types of messaging or layouts convert the best, but it's always great to have a solid foundation before you start A-B testing. So there will be a link under this video where you can download our free 148 point landing page checklist where we go through everything that you need to do to correctly optimize your landing pages for as much conversions as possible. And then once that's out of the way, you can get started with A-B testing and split testing to further test your copy, your images, and your layouts. And you will be well on your way to creating a very high converting website.